So now this demo is going to be uh, sending large files through EMQX. So that here I've started, I just started a new node, which is running on uh, 4.3.1. Oh, sorry. And here we can start a uh, big uh, mosquito subscriber, which pipes the data to a file. And still running. Let's stop them. Just kill it. New one. Watch this file size. And now let's send publish to a topic. And this file is sending. I need to eat. Bye. Down which about time should be local host here. Now, let's have a look at this uh, file size. It has uh, it's 136 max. Now, uh, if we send it over to run EMQX, see it's getting populated here. That's the mosquito subscriber. The size of it, size of this file is a bit larger than the original file because Mosquito subscriber, the client, uh, the CLI tool, it prints uh, the string, the payload as strings and line breaks are added as, uh, as uh, uh, slash backslash R and backslash N. It appends uh, backslash R to each line. So if we eat it and pipe it to, uh, to another file, and have a look at the uh, line break. And so now it looks should look exactly the same as uh, the 
the original file. Yeah, it's exactly the same bytes. Now I can, what we can do actually is to subscribe. stop here and use the command sub host host local host and size And uh, it prints only in the size of the payload. Let's have a look to see how it behaves when we send uh, like 136 meg files. It's much faster than piping us through a, a Python client and then line by line. And again, one, two, three, four, yeah. In about three seconds to get through. All right, any questions or comments? I forgot to mention that before uh, 4.3.1, we had a bug in uh, in uh, for uh, EMQX, uh, uh, sorry, MQTT package parsing, uh, which has a um, very low performance in when the payload is very large. So now we can say that we can we support uh, large payload. They're working pretty well. Hi, so hey. I, I would like to know uh, what does this parameter stand for? The repeat 111, repeat delay 1111. Oh, okay. And how you implement it in under the hood? Oh, sorry, uh, this uh, I forgot to explain that uh, the script, uh, the CLI tool, it sends, uh, sends the data uh, to the TCP buffer. And as soon as that uh, is done, it closes the socket and exit if we don't do repeat. So it's actually, it actually needs to be two or long enough not to repeat too often. So uh, this is a trick to, to make the script uh, uh, Keep, uh, keep the socket alive. Otherwise, it'll close the socket before the before the payload is actually sent over. So this is only just a trick to keep the socket alive. It's actually the same thing for a mosquito publisher. If it, if you send if you use the mosquito publisher to send a large file without repeat. It will close the uh, program immediately after the, so the the payload has been sent. This is something for us to improve. And how you implement this feature under the hood? So, like the uh, the file send or the repeat? The file send. The file send is uh, it, it just reads the file into memory and then sends it sends the memory as a, as a binary blob just like a regular mpd packet yeah exactly
more questions? Oh, okay. 